First at 11, new tonight, we hear from some Rhode Island heroes who rushed to a woman's aid after a fiery crash. A news chopper captured the scene Friday on the New Jersey Turnpike. A woman's car flipped and Rhode Island National Guardsmen on their way back home pulled over to get her out. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik has their story and joins us live from the mobile newsroom. Catherine? Well, Alicia, that woman only treated for a broken ankle. Surprisingly, her injuries were not worse, thanks to the National Guard, who was in the right place at the right time. The video, dramatic. Members of the Rhode Island National Guard jump into rescue mode along the New Jersey Turnpike on Friday. The guardsmen on their way home to Rhode Island after a training mission when they came upon a woman trapped inside her overturned and burning car. At first, they say they didn't know what they were going to see. I was, I was thinking that uh, we we're going to see something horrific, to be honest with you. She, she was trapped inside the car. The car was slipped over and she was still strapped inside of her seat. She had her seatbelt on and we had to cut her out. Fifty members of the garden total helped with the rescue, some grabbing fire extinguishers to put out the blaze, while others, with the help of two construction workers, cut loose the driver and freed her from her car. Medics began stabilizing her just as a doctor pulled over to help. The car was still on fire, and we were afraid that the car may explode. So we thought it was best to get her out and move her away as fast as we could while we were still trying to put the fires out. Her right ankle was uh, completely broken off. Uh, her left ankle was broken, possible leg fracture. So we want to stabilize that. Luckily, her injuries weren't worse, thanks to the guardsmen who sprung into action. Saturday night, they say they don't consider themselves heroes. They say it's just another day at the office. It was the right thing to do. Uh, it's just, it, it wasn't even a matter of, hey, who wants to volunteer? We all just got out and did it. And they sure did. Police in New Jersey say they don't know what caused the accident tonight, but we do know the driver is expected to make a full recovery. Reporting live tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.